What is structure? A structure is an arrangement and organization of interrelated elements in a material object. In C language, it is an arrangement of different data types. Next question we can have, why do we need structure while we are having array? The answer is very simple, memory can be allocated for same data type with array. But, with the help of structure, we can have memory allocation for different data type as well. And, this arrangement itself a data type which has to be defined by user. So, a structure is a user-defined data type which allows us to combine data of different types together. We can declare a variable using this data type. Here I have used struct student directly for the data type. We can give it a name using typedef keyword. I named this structure as st using typedef keyword and I have declared a variable rocky using st data type. We can access its member using dot operator. Here, I have updated gender using dot operator with the value m. You can initialize as well at the time of declaration. You can take array of structure similar to other data types. You are allowed to do any other operation as well that you do with a primitive data type. Primitive data types means already defined data types like integer or character or double. Next, see the size of a structure. Size of a structure is the sum of the size of all elements. In this example of student structure, first element gender size is 1 byte, second element name size is 10 bytes, and last element age size is 4 bytes. So, as per the statement, its total size should be 15 bytes. But, it is not in real. This is because processor always try to reduce the number of instruction cycle for any operation. Let's understood in detail with this example by considering 32-bit processor. 32-bit processor means, in one instruction cycle, it can fetch 32-bit data from the memory. So, 4 bytes can be fetched in one instruction cycle. First element, gender, size is 1 byte, which can be fetched in one instruction cycle. So, 1 byte of memory will be allocated for this. Second element, name, size is 10 bytes, which can fetched in 3 instruction cycle. So, next 10 bytes will be allocated for name. So, as of now, we have total of 11 bytes allocated, and these 11 bytes can be fetched in 3 instruction cycle. Means, we can read gender and name in 3 instruction cycle. This memory read always works with 4 byte alignment. I mean, data fetched from memory addresses in multiple of 4, like 8000, 8004, 8008, 8012 and so on. Next, see for age, which is having size of 4 bytes. So, this must be fetched in one instruction cycle. If memory is allocated from next memory address, two instruction cycle will be required to fetch age. So, to reduce the burden of one extra instruction cycle, this element age is stored from next 4 byte aligned memory address. Here, next 4 byte aligned memory address is 12. So age will be stored from memory address 12, and memory address 11 will be filled with 0. So, now only one instruction cycle would be required to fetch age. Here, 0 was padded at memory 11, which is called structure padding. Hence, total size of student structure would be 16 bytes due to structure padding.